Yeah, okay. So, uh, voltage division, what does it mean? Basically, let's uh, make a drawing. When we want to read uh, an analog voltage on the Arduino, uh, we can use a function which is called uh, analog read. And you insert a pin number here. And on the Arduino, uh, you can't use this function on all of the pins. You can only use it on the ones marked as analog in. And uh, on the Arduino, they are over here. So here it says analog in, and they are labeled A0 to A5. So all of these pins can be used for the function which is called analog read. And what you write if you want to, for example, uh, read from A1 or A0 or any one of those, you write, you write it exactly like that. So if I want to read the analog value uh, on the A0, I will just write it like this. What this function is doing is that it tries to read uh, the voltage. And it's similar to the digital read, which uh, works with the five volts logic. So basically it tries to read a voltage between ground, between zero, that is, zero volts to five volts. And uh, it will read it, in this case, at that yellow cable there, where that is. Uh, and it will convert the input, the voltage, from zero to five volts. It will convert that to a number between zero and 1023. That is what happens in your uh, Arduino code when you do analog read. So this can be useful to uh, read analog voltages. And one of the most uh, common uh, applications for this is to uh, use uh, resistive sensors. And uh, you have already a few of them included in the kit. One example is uh, this bending resistor. Uh, another one is these uh, photodiodes, no, no photoresistors, um, or LDR, light dependent resistor. So bo both of these ones, they will change their resistance depending on some uh, thing, some, uh, uh, like in this case, the light will change its resistance and in this case the resistance in it will change if you bend it like this. So how would we measure this? Well the Arduino can't actually measure resistance. It can only measure voltage with this thing. So what we need is a way to convert voltage or rather the other way around. We want to convert the resistance that we have from the sensor to a voltage that we can read. So if we have an example here of the Arduino and we have 5 volts here we have ground down here and we have the analog input then we have the sensor let's say we have the LDR the light dependent resistor looks something like this and uh, it has its legs like this how are we going to see how the resistance changes here depending on the light by using the voltage reading of the analog pin? Well, if we connect this one, for example, like this, and we connect with another resistor, a resistor we have prepared as well, that we can f uh, we choose the resistor of a nice value. This one, for example, could maybe work. What would happen then if uh, this, for example, was 10 kilo ohms? And this one might go between uh, 10 to 40 kilo ohms.
the voltage at this point is basically the ratio uh, between these two resistance uh, resistances. So if, for example, this one resistance here would be 10, let's say that it's uh, very light, so it's only 10 kilo ohms. So let's say now it's 10 kilo ohms like this. Then the reading here would be basically 2.5 volts. Because it uh, divides, basically chooses half from 5 volts and it chooses half from 0 volts. Uh, so it would be 10 divided by 10 plus 10, because 10 plus 10 is the total, which is basically then a half. So a half times 5 volts comes 2.5 volts. So that is how voltage division works. And it's perhaps easier if we would have, like in this example here, similar, uh, to not have uh, variable resistors. So here we have two uh, uh, resistors which has permanent values. So here we can basically do the same calculation. And this one has 40 kilo ohms, and this one below has 10 kilo ohms. What would be the voltage at this point? Well, it would be. 10 divided by the total, and the total of all, both of them is 50, so it would be one fifth of 5 volts, that is. So one fifth of 5 volts becomes 1 volt. So the voltage here would be uh, 5, no, 1 volt. So if we would connect that one to the analog in, it would read a fifth times 1023. So that is basically how the analog pin works on the uh, Arduino. So in the case uh, with the sensor, uh, in the case of the uh, resistive sensors, uh, one of the resistors will vary. So what you will see on the analog, uh, on the analog uh, input is that it changes depending on the resistance that changes here. So that is how we can convert resistance to a voltage, which then can be read from our analog pin. And then comes the third thing, which is a little bit weird, and it's voltage division when you use a potentiometer. The potentiometers, we have a few of them in the kit. Here is one of them. I also have uh, here a sliding one. So what happens in this case, if we connect uh, this uh, potentiometer, uh, if we just make a drawing of it similarly like this one here, it has its three legs. The resistance of this one if you zoom in, is 10k. This means that it's 10k in resistance from that left point to the right point. 10 kilo ohms. So around all this, all around this part here of it, it's 10 kilo ohms between this point and this point. The middle one is basically connected to what you can look at here. Basically, it's like a, a dial that sits on top of this part that has the resistance in it. And this one you can turn around. So what this essentially means is that a potentiometer is not one variable resistor, it's two variable resistors that varies uh, uh, depending on each other. So if, if we think that this uh, resistor here, or this potentiometer here has uh, 20, kilo ohms or what did I say 10 kilo ohms from here to here if we turn this dial it would be as if we had one resistor here that went down like this and the other resistor followed it so the total resistance of both of them would always be 10 kilo ohm 
but the each each uh, part here this part and this part here they will be different re uh, resistive values there so basically it's the ratio that changes in the potentiometer so you could think of it as if we think of the distances here as the total resistance you can s say that the resistance varies like this and because of this you will have very smooth values when you have a potentiometer and when you turn it and you put it connect it uh, like this for example to ground to 5 volts and this one to A0 and do analog read in the software you will have smooth values from 0 all the way up to 1023 and it's because it's uh, basically changing the whole ra ratio between the two resistor resistances here inside the potentiometer and uh, a sliding potentiometer is basically the same thing but uh, uh, but it's instead uh, one thing that goes like this and it's one slider that goes up and down along the path so it's the same thing but uh, in a linear fashion so that's uh, I would say a small deep dive in uh, voltage dividers and also potentiometers uh, you are free to ask quish question now because I know that this can be a little bit uh, weird if you hear it for the first time so I will stop recording here and I will be open for a question